Hey folks, Heli Cool Helipad. I'm Dave Anderson, and this is a video on all you'll need to know about the pre Klondike packet and all, and uh, everything that you'll need to bring for Klondike and some definitions and kind of like how the whole thing works. If um, if you want to know what Klondike's about, especially in the Timberline, this is your opportunity. Watch this video and and you'll find out. Check it out. Remember to subscribe and uh, leave a comment. Appreciate it. Thanks. These are the details that you will find in the Klondike packet. Um, and pretty much this is an agenda. And this is for 2019. So the dates are listed and it gives the times to arrive on Friday. Um, all the way through the event schedule on Saturday and on to Sunday. And this is pretty much uh, uh, what we're going to see every single year, but I don't want to concentrate on this. I want to get to what exactly do you need to bring for the uh, Klondike itself. So we go on down here to the Klondike scoring. And again, you don't have to have this packet uh, to uh, have success. Um, if you go to the mayor meeting uh, that evening at 8 o'clock, Friday evening, um, you can ask any questions that you want to, and you'll have an opportunity to go into town if you need to. But it's always good to know this ahead of time, some of it ahead of time. So the first thing that we're going to do in the morning is a morning pack check for your 10 essentials. And if you have uh, at least, you could have like six scouts in your patrol, as long as four of them at least combined with all of their things make up at least four full sets of 10 essentials you can have up to 20 points five points for each scout presenting all 10 essentials this is the 10 essentials pack check uh, scoring sheets you can see that you put the patrol name and troop number on it and you here's all the 10 essentials that you'll need to have and if they have them all on here all of these will be checked off and you'll get the points that you uh, will deserve once you have that uh, list of there. Also, you can see here that the Klondike like sled definition is also added because we also add in this point here if you have a Klondike like sled or what kind of sled that you have, other uh, such as a Travois or other Native American transporting device, or backpacks or uh, wagons or uh, wheelbarrow. And then you go to the mayor scoring. Uh, the, the mayor scores you um, on the greeting and the patrol yell, 1 to 10 points. A mayor greeting shall be, good morning, mayor. We are, patrol name, of troop, such and such. And that way the mayor can, can put that on the scoring sheet and score it appropriately, or at least uh, label it appropriately so that you can get your score. You're scored on scout spirit, 1 to 10 points, completion of the task, uh, 1 to 40 points, uh, scout teamwork and patrol method, 1 to 10 points, proper creative use of gear and supplies, 1 to 10 points, cleanliness, 1 to 10 points, and uh, the possible points are uh, 60 to 90 points. Um, some towns have bonus points for, for the uh, five uh, fastest times, and of course excellence knows no bounds. You can get uh, maybe one or two gold nuggets if you're exhibiting excellence and politeness to the mayor, um, skills or service above and beyond the, stown, the, the town standards, uh, or simply by uh, bartering or bribing the mayor with a small treat. What is a claim jumper? Well, a claim jumper is a scoutmaster or an assistant scoutmaster. The goes roaming around and if they catch a patrol in between towns they'll ask you a question uh, and the question is a uh, trail to first class question so um, it could be anything from what are the two stars on the first class badge mean of course that's truth and knowledge if they get that correct then they get a gold nugget if they don't then they have to surrender a gold nugget the maximum time that you can be stopped by a claim jumper is three times so that uh, it isn't skewed one way or the other. Dinner banquet scoring. A lot of times we do have Dutch oven dishes. If uh, there isn't a whole lot of Dutch ovens, what we'll do is we'll uh, judge on the best 
meal overall and it will also judge on the balanced meal or the best balanced meal and the judge the the uh, whoever is determined to win that will get some prizes usually dangles that they can put on to their um, their guidons camps campsite scoring duty roster posted that's five points menu posted five points organized and clean five points and there is a kitchen dining cover fly five points of course that axe yard set up correctly five points for a total of 0 to 25 points. Now what is this all about? Well this is about properly setting up your campsite. Got to have a dining fly over your kitchen so that the uh, material isn't dropping down into your food and possibly making you sick. If you are cutting wood you better be doing it in an axe yard. Now the worst thing I've seen is adults out there just chopping wood to any willy-nilly place and letting the scouts do the same thing. It's not a safe thing to do and uh, so this this is a uh, one of those things that kind of gets them into the idea of, man, you know what, we really should do it the right way and have an axe yard. Here is the patrol area inspection sheet. And, of course, as we mentioned before, the duty roster menu, organized and clean, kitchen, dining, fly, axe yard, etc. all on there. And we have uh, at least three of them per sheet. So those are the things that you're scored on. All right, race times for the Klondike Derby. First place is 25 points, second place 20, third place 15, so on and so forth, down to fifth place 5 points. And additional points by presenting a Klondike-like sled, uh, 15, 15 points, uh, or a Travoise, or other Native American uh, transporting device, 10. Backpacking all your supplies, 5. And if you have a wheelbarrow or wagon or something like that, you're going to get 5 points for that. Klondike sled race. So first place is 50 points, uh, second place 40, third place 30, and so on and so forth. Only Klondike-like sleds will be allowed to compete, although in the Brotherhood of Scouting, you can easily just ask somebody and borrow a sled. Um, most patrols, if they're not racing at that point in time, will go ahead and absolutely let you borrow it. So what do you need... So each patrol must move as a unit and shall not split up into two or more towns at the same time. Violation of this rule could be grounds for disqualification. In this way, uh, you can't cheat and um, do two towns at the same time and get done quicker, thus um, skewing the results of the final, um, the final time getting in. So what are the items that you should bring? These are your gear and s supplies. So for matchless fire starting, you will need, uh, you better, probably should bring some dry wood to maintain a fire. And I would make sure that it's very small. You're not going to be sitting there for the next hour uh, on a campfire. So you don't need to bring big stuff. You bring small stuff to get your fire going, uh, get it hot. And it's just going to be maybe four, uh, maybe five, ten minutes that it's going to burn and your water will be boiled no problem but uh, within there uh, in that fire no chemical reactions for fire starting is allowed and the uh, it cannot be uh, kerosene soaked wood uh, have an abundance of candle wax or you know some kind of uh, presto log or something like that uh, it's uh, primarily a wood uh, fire and friction or spark fires are started uh, or scored rather on the highest end um, and items like char cotton magnesium blocks and spark or magnifying glass steel wool and a battery cotton ball and vaseline tree pitch etc are all acceptable and the fire will be again primarily wood no paper products larger than a sheet of toilet paper so you can't crumple up a whole bunch of uh, newspaper and and uh, use that can't use styrofoam or any kind of uh, toxic kind of stuff. Like I said, it's primarily a fire, a correction, a wood fire. Uh, for Feed the Dogs Chili, you're going to need to bring a metal pot uh, to make the chili in. Uh, propane stoves are provided. 
So bring at least one can of chili and up to four uh, ingredients to flavor or spruce up the chili. You get five points for each ingredient extra. And bring a spoon, at least one, to stir the, the chili and a few paper bowls are also recommended so that well, you can not only give the judge a sample of it, but possibly each of your uh, scout in your patrol can also enjoy a little bit of what you've made. Klondike-like sled is not mandatory, but you do get some extra points for having a Klondike-like sled. What is a Klondike-like sled? Well, it's, it's down here. Uh, it says what it is, uh, but we'll get into that in a second. Each patrol member shall have all their 10 essentials, which is inspected and scored appropriately, and food snacks and small quantity bags for teammates and for bartering is encouraged. Uh, you do not uh, barter with uh, like pies and giant cakes and that kind of thing. It's meant for small food snacks, um, not a costly uh, meal or something like that uh, for extra points. If you, um, and we make sure that the judges, the uh, the mayors know that. What are you scored on? Basically speaking, hey, the trifecta of Klondike. Use outstanding scout skills and displaying tremendous amounts of scout spirit while leading with awesome patrol method. Those three things, if you can do those well within your patrol, you will be scored appropriately. Here's some of the rules of the Klondike sled race. The race will consist of a Klondike-like sled transport, and one patrol member must ride in the sled, and the other patrol members pull with a rope. And one can also, one or more, can push from behind. And the race will be at least 100 feet, uh, with at least one turnaround, and at least 100 feet back to the finish line. And of course, it is timed. Uh, what is a Klondike-like sled? Well, it's patterned after the real dog sled, um, and the uh, sled can have no more than two rolling wheels and must have at least two skis. The sled must be, pe must be capable of carrying gear to the stations, and uh, in other words, it must have a platform, and it must be taken to each town as part of the patrol essentials. A rope must be attached to the front for pulling and a bar or handles of some sort in the rear for pushing. Uh, so that's what makes a Klondike sled. Uh, what is bartering all about? Well, it, uh, Klondike has a rich history of, you know, in the Klondike of the Gold Rush, trading or bartering. Bartering was allowed and readily acceptable by mayors for reasonable requests. And of course, once a deal is struck uh, between the mayor and the patrol, and the uh, uh, item is given, uh, it, is, it is considered binding and both parties must uh, complete the deal. Gold Nuggets. Gold Nuggets are about extra points and you get uh, five points for every Gold Nugget that you get. So get Gold Nuggets, it's a good way to earn some bonus points. Of course, Scout Spirit can be defined in many ways. But scout spirit uh, may be subjective to score. So, so each mayor is told to evaluate the enthusiasm and desire of the patrol. It's all about having an attitude and demeanor of being a scout and letting it show, even in the face of ridicule. Having an attitude of being too cool for school does not cut it. So I know it's subjective, but that's what scout spirit's about. And that should just about wrap things up. Like I said, you don't need to have the Klondike packet in order to do well. But if you want it, uh, you can find it on the Timberline District Klondike Facebook page. Just search Timberline District Klondike and you'll find it. And if you have any other questions, just go ahead and, and uh, post a comment on that uh, Facebook site. I'll get back to you. Hey, I'm the administrator of that page. All right. Hope you have fun and good luck preparing on this. Remember, Klondike, uh, right now, this pre-Klondike time, it's a time to use that edge method. Okay. Remember what that is. What does the E stand for? Let me hear it. Oh, it's explain. What does the D stand for? Gosh, I could never remember. 
Oh, demonstrate. And the G is guide. Okay, I always remember that one. And when you actually get to Klondike, the E, yeah, that's enable. So in other words, adults, uh, let, take pictures, great. But this is time for the scouts to actually put their patrol method and their leadership in action. All right, have fun. Take care.